Um, well, where are Florence to go to? Uh, it's about an hour it takes to have a consultation and uh, the florist will um, ask the style of the dress, the shape of the dress, very important to the shape of your bouquet. Uh, if you've got ideas of your own, then take them along with you. Um, and the florist will then tell you if it's feasible to go with your dress and they can work out a way. Her ideas will help you to have something along the lines that you want. The dress is important because if you're a tall person, you've got a long straight dress, then because there's a lot of dress, you need something long to go down the front of the dress because you haven't got a lot of white or, or cream and just a little blob in the middle here. It follows the line of the dress. Because a very big flowing dress, you could have something quite big, if you're a big person, quite big to go with the shape of the dress. So the bouquet is very important that the bouquet goes with the dress. Um, a very petite girl um, can carry off a small something like this um, but if there's a lot of dress and quite a big person you need something a bit bigger with trails going down that follows the line of the dress so that's really important mm -hmm. and then um, the colour again is another thing um, sometimes there's a lot of colours these days that you can't match with fresh flowers the silk you can always I do a lot in silk um, it's nice to have a fresh bouquet, but the silk is so good these days that you can have something just as nice done in silk. And there's so many things you can do with wedding bouquets. You can add to fresh or silk. You can add feathers. You can have this wire now, which is, comes in different colours. You can mould to make different shapes inside your bouquet. Um, I add bits of silver leaf or gold leaf, bit, give a bit of glitter if they want it in it. It's made. You have your buttonholes. The groom is important, so he has something that matches the bride's bouquet. So I tend to put, say there's roses in the bouquet, he has a rose with a bit of frieze or something with it that's also in the bride's bouquet. So his buttonhole matches the bride. Then there's the, the groom, best man, ushers, parents, grandparents. That's all you need to buy for, buttonhole-wise. Um, they just have to either a rose or a single carnation. Um, then you've got your reception, and you've got your church flowers, which are important. Um, and then with the church, you can either have stands of flowers if you want to sort of spend. If you don't want to spend so much, there's a lot of the topiary trees now that uh, I hire out. A lot of florists hire stuff out these days as well. Usually, um, rather than just going out delivering, there's always a dad or a brother in the way uh, they send them out to come and pick up the wedding bouquets. Um, the groom's side, somebody from that side comes and picks the buttonholes up. Um, or they all go out together and the family sort them out. Uh, you know, we, we, we can, the flowers can deliver. Or, as I said, it's easy exactly. to get somebody out of the way, yes. So really, these days now, available all year round. Because the Dutch are very, very good. And it's most flowers you can get. Orchids, there is one month of the year, I think it's July, that they're not available. For some reason, I don't know why, but you can never get them in July. Um, lilies, there's the calla lily, which is quite a popular one, which is like a, a trumpet style with, with like a one little um, stamen. And they're quite expensive in wedding bouquets. You know, you're talking, you know, 100, if not a bit more, if you're going to have the calla lilies, they are expensive. Um, and there's the orchids, which I cannot pronounce, Flopsus orchids, which um, I've got a silk bouquet of them over there, and they work out really, really expensive. Very plain, but very pretty. And um, that sort of thing can be expensive, but your basic wedding bouquet, fresh flowers, you can get all year round, roses, freesias, Singapore orchids, there's the anthers. Nice selection, and uh, as I say, if we can't get the colour to match the wedding, we can always use something in, as well in with it either silk or feathers as I said before. Yeah. Which, what, which ones are you most popular? You said your silk is quite popular now. Silk's quite flowers. popular now. The fresh flowers, um, the hand ties are quite popular which is just sort of flowers tied together and mm. um, the stems are showing. Um, but what the brides don't realise is they're quite heavy to hold. If you have one tied together with all roses they are heavy to hold. Um, you can have, still have the same effect with the handle, whereas the, the roses are cut down, wired separately and wired together, and you have a handle to hold. Same effect, but all these magazines these days show you all these uh, tied bouquets, and that's what the girls are going for. But once I sit and talk to the florist, you know, if that's what they want, that's fine, but they, have, they are offered alternatives. 